Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so you can check everything out in the description. Uh, I do all the lead code problems, so if you ever want any of these explained to you, just go check them out. Uh, this one we're doing is called Merge to Sorted Lists, and it's a linked list problem. It's not just uh, like arrays or anything. So we basically just are given two list nodes, as you can see right here. We got L1 and L2. These are our list nodes. And... Um, we want to create one final linked list that contains all the nodes in both of these linked lists uh, and it all has to be sorted the whole way. So what we're gonna wanna do, the method for this, is we're gonna wanna traverse both the lists. We're gonna wanna make a new head node. So we'll have our own, our, we're gonna make our own list, our own separate list. So we're gonna create our, new, our own head node and then we're just going to set the next node to the smaller value of the both of these nodes as we traverse both of them, right? Because uh, we want it in order. Uh, so that's pretty much the concept behind it. You'll see what we do as we go through it. I'm going to code it out right here. So uh, we'll have list node temp node uh, is equal to new list node of zero. This is kind of our just like uh, beginner node just so we can there's always this thing when you, you're doing linked list problems where you can have like um, kind of a temp node just to hold the head's place. So as we do all this, at the very end, we can just return temp node dot next and get the actual head that we need. So we'll do list node current node. This is the node we're actually going to be using is equal to temp node. Um, so while L1 is not equal to null and L2 is not equal to null because we'll be traversing these lists. Um, if uh, l1.val is greater than l2.val then we're going to want to use l2 because we want the smaller value as we go first. So current node.next this means that l2 is smaller we could have written in a different way so actually let's do it this way if l1 is less than l2 then we'll do current node.next is equal to l1 because we want l1 we want the smaller one um, and then l1 equals l1.next because we got to keep traversing down or uh, you know looping through these lists. Uh, otherwise we'll set the opposite current node.next equal to L2. That means L2 is smaller. Uh, L2 equals L2.next. And that's pretty much it as we loop through. Super pretty easy problem. Uh, and then you have to obviously update the current node. So current node equals current node.next. Only thing is when we get to the, you can get to the end of this loop where L1 of these, this condition can be broken because one of them could get to the end and the other one might not be at the end. So we just have to account for those ending little edge cases. So if L1 is not equal to null and let's say L2 was uh, and we broke out of this loop, we just do current node dot next just to get that last L1 node. Let's see with L1, L1 equals L1 dot next. Uh, and then we have that same kind of thing for L2, just the last check. Uh, current node dot next is equal to L2 and L2 equals L2 dot next and then we're done. We're done. All we have to do is return, like I said at the beginning, temp node dot next. Temp node is just an empty list node so the next node is, because current node set to temp node, temp node is just an empty list node. Um, but current node dot next, well, as soon as we start this loop, current node dot next is going to be L1 or L2, our first actual node. And this, after you do all this, it's going to come out in sorted order. Perfect problem solution. Hopefully first try. First try. Uh, very good. That's the whole solution right there. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. I don't think it was too bad. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please check out the other videos. Uh, going to be doing probably a lot of linked list ones today. So, all right. Thanks, guys. See ya.